So we're in Comanche National mm. Grassland in southeastern Colorado, and we are here to see some tarantulas. It was a while ago, probably a year or so ago, we heard about the tarantula migration that happens in Colorado, and that piqued our interest. I definitely knew I needed to come look for them. <laughs> and we since found out that it's not a true migration like when you think of an animal going from point A to point B. It's more mating season and the females stay right around their burrow for the entire like 20 years of their life and the males need to come looking for them and that happens in September. So that's when a lot of people come down here to see if they can spot tarantulas and where are those people this year? Right now actually it's um, about four o'clock we're sort of scouting out some areas because we hear that they're most active and easiest to find in the hour before sunset so we thought we would run around and see if we could find some good places to come back in an hour or two and um, try to find some tarantulas. So let's go find some. Go find them. So one of the things that we heard is that tarantula hawks, which are basically giant wasps, are a good way to locate tarantulas. We didn't necessarily find that to be the case. We did find a couple of the tarantula hawks, but we didn't see tarantulas nearby them. But they are interesting creatures in their own right. Their sting is known as the second most painful in the world. And they're pretty pretty scary if you're a tarantula. Um, they actually, their sting immobilizes tarantula and then the female will lay their eggs on the tarantula and a few days later their larvae hatch and the tarantula is still immobilized and the larvae eat the tarantula while it's alive, which I found really disturbing. Yes. But so they're interesting creatures and maybe to be avoided yes. whether you're a tarantula or a person. <laughs> We weren't sure what to expect coming down to see the tarantulas as far as how many people were going to be here or how many tarantulas we were likely to see. I was wondering, is it going to be a tarantula every 10 feet in the road and it's hard not to run them over or are we going to spend an hour and not even find one? I'd say you kind of got to, in our experience, you sort of to hunt for them. They weren't, they certainly weren't everywhere. Yeah. But we did see some. Yeah, we probably saw 10 Three, or 10. so. Yeah. Yeah. So we did stop, the, there's a highway that's mentioned, Highway 109, that's south of La Junta, and we did drive along there last night, and we stopped, and um, we, we didn't see any necessarily, we just stopped and um, looked around, and we were able to find one there, and he was running around pretty active, and so that was good. Um, we've seen three just walking across the dirt roads out in the grassland, so that was sort of our best, our best sighting, and then this morning we took a hike in Ticket Wire Canyon, um, which is a video that you can also see, and we saw two this morning out there. One was probably two cold to move early in the morning and then mid-morning the other one was was running around pretty good so we're we're satisfied we found some tarantulas yeah so mission accomplished they were pretty cool and there are not a ton of people here either there are we saw a few couples from denver who were up last night looking um there's definitely been a handful of people here and there uh, and some of the, the locals have come out and they're looking i think they come come out and look too but it really it wasn't crowded or anything like that so overall, I'd say coming down to the, the grasslands was a good experience. I mean, not just for the tarantulas, which has kind of got us here, but to see these grasslands is, was pretty neat. Yeah, it's a pretty neat landscape, and we had a really nice hike, and to see the tarantulas was definitely a bonus, and I think I'm pleased. I was hoping there might be a few more, but I'm also, I also knew there was a chance there might not be any, and they weren't, they weren't that hard to find. We spent, you know, one evening, and then um, we've seen a couple today, but we we didn't invest a ton of time and we still saw, you know, probably about 10. Should we take one home? I think we should probably leave them here. Okay. Yeah. But we'd recommend coming to see them. <laughs> yes, definitely. Highly recommend.